And welcome back. The uh, WWF tag team of <laughs> Worsham and Porter are with us today. <laughs> Will, Bruce, good to see both of you again. Good to be here. Yep. Okay, we're going to talk, you, you know, we, we started talking a little bit earlier about Medicaid. Right. All right. Now, I know that you got something special coming up, you know, because sure. you, you are always out there giving the free advice out to people who need it and to get them to understand. How about some points on, you know, what you're going to be talking about or what you want people to know sure. about Medicaid? Well, we're in the kitchen here today. Yes, I because know. Because a lot of really important conversations uh, around these topics. Take, happen in the kitchen. They happen in the right. kitchen. And mm -hmm. so we thought, well, let's just be in the kitchen so we can talk about some Next of these time things. I'd appreciate it if you'd bring some food. I'll but bring okay. some food. Yeah. This I'll bring is some food, food for thought, yeah. though. We'll bring some food. So, you know, really it's a question that keeps coming up about Medicaid. People are worried that if they end up in long-term care, mm -hmm. that they're going to lose all their assets. They're not going to have any money left for their spouse to live on. Right. That their kids aren't going to get anything. All of that stuff that you've been talking about planning for the future goes right out the window. That's right. Yeah. And That's so, right. you know, we want to address that for okay. folks. And so there are absolutely ways through estate planning and financial planning mm -hmm. that you can preserve those assets. There are ways to do that with trust. There are ways to do that with some financial products that sure. Bruce works with. So together, we're able to really sit down and talk with people and come up with some great answers. And because this question keeps coming up and coming up, um, at our next seminar, which is next Tuesday night, 6 o'clock at the Resource Center, Bruce is hosting that, yep. um, we're going to do a little bonus time. Okay. Uh, we're going to spend a little extra time, uh, more than we normally do, and we're going to talk specifically about uh, asset protection, Medicaid planning, uh, both through financial opportunities and through trust planning. So a little extra information at this one coming up on the 20th. So there's, a, there's still a little bit of seats left, but it's important that people call now because it is limited how many people we can get in the room. So uh, kind of a short answer. Can people protect themselves? Because that is what you hear. People lose everything mm. if they need care. They absolutely can. The sooner people plan, the better. There are some uh, time restrictions on that. There's what people are familiar with is a look back period and some people are aware of that as a five year period. But there are other ways to plan even if you think, oh I don't have five years where it's too late. It, it's not too late. Uh, it might be too late for the best possible plan, but sure. it's not too late for any plan. That's right. And that's what you want to do is be able to walk people because it's confusing because when you, I mean I do what other people do, you said we're going to talk about Medicaid and right away I start talking about Medicare. Right. Two right. different animals here. Absolutely. Yep, it gets confusing. So, you know, the, the thing about time is we, we lose a little time every day. Sure. Right? So, you know, when you've got time to set a plan in motion, to establish a blueprint for how you want your end of life handled, how you want your bills covered, how you want your care taken care of, how you want your family to be able to absorb that stress and that frustration and that financial burden, how, how do you want to do that? Well, you know, when you've got time to plan, planning does pay off. And, and it's significant to, to understand that, that, you know, we need to get our affairs in order. We need to sit down. We need to do some our, our research. Right. Do your own due diligence. The first thing, come to the workshop and just learn some of the basics. Come to the workshop, ask a few questions. You know, get some basics under your, under your belt. Right. And then you and your spouse, you, you'll be able to have some some conversation with your family about what to do. That's that's what we're trying to accomplish. And, and in reality, these basics that you're talking about, that's a blueprint for everyone. It's oh, what you absolutely. do after that that becomes individualized, right? Absolutely. Right. I think everybody walks away from our workshops with a certainly a better understanding about how estate planning can work. Mm -hmm. uh, we dispel some myths. A lot of people walk in there with some mm -hmm. wrong ideas that we're able to correct, um, right. at least the ideas about it, and then they get the opportunity to meet with us for free yep. and get a real plan in place that works for them. Okay, all right, now stick around because we're gonna all be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> 